on, Grenade Quinn. How could you do this to me? We we're talking about British Forces' this new expansion for Company of Heroes 2. So if you pull this pin, what will happen? Um, terrible, terrible things. I am terrified now! Or just okay. kidding. It's not real. You wouldn't do that to me because I can't be trusted. Let's talk I, about... I, I hope it's not real. Nobody's... <laughs> Nobody's actually different. Well, let's talk about the new expansion because this just came out. You guys are excited about it, but also it's been getting some pretty sweet reviews. So what's happening here in British Forces? This is a continuing process at, at Relic. I mean, this is the fifth army we've done, so we're getting pretty good at it. And I think our processes internally have improved. We love the content. We're excited about working on it. And, and I think it shows. It shows that we're having fun. The games are getting better all the time. Are you surprised by the amount of people that really devote so much of their day playing this thing? Yeah, I, I mean, well, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm surprised because that's a, that's our point. You know, that's what we're here to do is to give people stuff that, that they can play for hours a day. But when you see the numbers, and there's like 10 million skirmish matches. It's just hard to, to comprehend how big some of those numbers are. And, and I, I think to see the effort that people put in, not just in playing, but in supporting in, in casting and mod tools and content and it, like that's I love to see that that they have the same passion we do. Obviously British forces require British voices so Dan you are the man behind the sound on this game what went into hiring actors for these parts? Well, we actually uh, cast our actors out of London. We work with a partner over there. We were looking for a lot of regional specific accents, an Irish, Scottish, Welsh, upper class, lower class. And we had a great idea, but as far as actually taking what we wrote to the actors, they all live in these places. They know these slides and the slang. So we were able to use their expertise to make it as authentic as we could. Bloody Englishman. We have to put up with English sheep shagging jokes and do their fighting too. Do you guys feel like when you plan this game out, you want to make it as real as possible? Well, I, th I think we, we want those real elements. I think that's part of Company of Heroes and, and part of the process in the British forces is finding the authenticity and finding the character, I guess, of, of the forces and what made them compelling and what made their, their, you know, their war experience what it was. And so those are things that we, we start with. We start with the essence of the British and how do we continue to kind of inject that into the game and into the gameplay.